Hey YouTube, this is a new one for me. I've never done an unboxing video before. This just arrived like, literally five minutes ago. Um, and I've never seen one of these. And this will be the first time anyone's appeared on YouTube. I looked last night to see if anyone else had done one. And when you look up this base, um, you get pictures of me, even though I don't have one, because I've got ones that are from the same range, as you can see from the walls. So I kind of angled the camera down a bit. This might not be the most exciting um, video. It might also be uh, a total disaster. Assuming the, I'm just hoping the base is in one piece in the inside. I don't even know. I don't even know if my uh, pal... So, um, I'm just working my way around. It's in, it's in a case, so... No, so th this, I I've been looking for one of these for years and I've never seen one. Ow! There you go, cut my, cut my hand off. So the thing to be learned, don't just use bare stamina knife blades, just use using a knife to open up this sort of thing. Um, yeah, so I've been after one of these for years. I've never seen, I've seen uh, maybe maybe two or three in total on eBay. A couple on reverb for very expensive prices and this is like worldwide. So I've never actually seen one that I was actually able to get. I've got a funny feeling the one I, one of the ones I might see on eBay was in Wales actually, so I could, maybe I've got that one. Um, so, my pal Michael, who runs the, or, is mad into Dayon guitars, which is a, the Yamaki factory's sort of home brand. They also made the Washburns, these ones, hence why I've littered my walls with Washburns. Um, yellow day. So this has just come from Denmark. And I bought this probably not quite a year ago, but very nearly. Um, my pal had it, uh, found it in Copenhagen. Uh, it was very cheap, and I was like, oh, no way. He says, oh, I wish you, you know, wish you had money to buy it. And I was like, well, I could buy it. And it was like, Copenhagen was like three or four hours drive from his house. And it was like, well, okay, I can't expect you to do that. And then he said, but by chance, I happened to be going to Copenhagen this weekend. And it was like, woo. So... The deal was I PayPal them the money to pick it up. This came with a Marlin bass amp. Um, so I said, oh, get me the the bass and uh, you can have the amp for your trouble. And then, and then I'll pay for postage to get it sent over. It was very, it wasn't cheap to post, I have to say. Um, last year, maybe the year before, I, um, I got the, the Hawk, which is... That one there, um, the same guy, Michael, found the hawk in Denmark again. For some reason, in, in Denmark, I don't think anyone knows about Washburns. So when they do show up, they show up cheap. And um, it cost, it only cost like 40 quid or something to post it, which I thought was quite reasonable. But I think this one, because it's longer, being a base, and heavier, being bigger, it's gone over another couple of them. Um, you know, a couple of barriers, which incurred some charges. So this ended up being 80 quid postage. And then... Um, so got plenty of Danish newspapers to put with my enemy. Right, box done. Um, yeah, so it ended up being 80 quid to post from Denmark with UPS. And that was uninsured, so I got it insured. Um, and the only option seemed to be to ensure that I think it was 450 quid or 500 quid. So I took that for an extra 25 quid. So it ended up costing 105 pounds just for delivery on this thing. Um, and it still worked out a really good deal. Especially since it's got some crazy things about it. I think this might, this might actually even be the original case. It's got a certain jobby brownness, I can't really imagine. Things. Modern cases being made of. A much more efficient way of doing this, I'm sure. And I'm expecting this to be pretty manky because I asked him not to not to clean it up for me. I've seen pictures of it. Um, so I, I just hope he sent me the right one. Because maybe the reason it took so long is because this was during the Cities thing. And there's a problem with washburns apparently using may have Brazilian rosewood fingerboards on them. So you need to get the CITES thing, even if 
there's not the rosary problem because there's always a problem with Brazilian rosaries. I don't know how you. I don't think it's that easy to test to see if something is Brazilian rosary. I think you know you have to take a um, a sample of it and then get it chemically analysed or something. I don't, know. I, don't, I don't think it's just a case of looking at it, but probably don't know. So eventually it got its CITES. I think this was just, just before Christmas, and I was meant to be going, or just uh, maybe November, and I was meant to be going to China, so I was like, right, well, I'll get it when I come back from China, and then this whole virus thing hit, so it's been delayed, but now I've got it. Yeah, and as I said, maybe about six months ago, probably not even, just before uh, the autumn, he found another one of these, um, which was a tobacco sunburst which all pretty much all the ones I've seen have been tobacco sunburst I've never seen this one before and he actually offered to so he bought that for himself and then he actually offered to send me that one free if he could keep this one uh, and it's like I couldn't take that it's just because it's slightly rare wow it's manky <laughs> I don't have a logo in the headstock either oh Uh-huh. I don't think this is a red one at all. I think this is this is another colour in below. Interesting. So this is a washburn vulture, which uh I'm 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 I have to say I'm quite disappointed that it's a it's cl it's clearly it's not a red one. It's it's it must be it must be a natural one in below the in below the red colour. Um, someone's someone's painted it. So this might be a bit of a project. I wonder if the I wonder if the logo's still in below the the headstock. So anyway, Washburn Vulture. Um, these are normally very expensive. Uh, this is neck through, which I think the red paint might be obscuring. To be honest, it's actually been really pretty badly painted. Yeah, yeah. So not. Not a hundred percent. I mean, I mean, amazing turnout. I was a wee bit. Um, I was a wee bit more expected it to be. A bit. Not well, a bit, a bit nicer to look at. I mean, it'd be nice once I've cleaned it up. I bet it looks stunning. Um, but you can see why this wasn't a thousand pounds like all the other ones were. Um, yeah. So, washburn vulture. Expect to see a review of this. In a few days, I'll need to get it up and running. I will, I've got some work to do on it, and then I, I might, I'll be able to get down to my entire range of washburns if I adjust this a bit so you can see it a bit more. To there, to dunk. And you can't really see that one, can you? Yeah, so it runs in from from the cheapest one. This that one there is the Raven guitar, which is like bolt on neck and stuff. And that's the Scavenger bass, which is basically a bass version of the Raven. Next one up is the Hawk, which is a three piece neck through, built by Yamaki. And basically this is a Hawk bass, but it's called a uh, Vulture. Yeah, so there you go. Eight minutes of your life you never get back. So this is the first one on YouTube. And it'll be interesting to see what I do with this in the next week. Um, it's whether I can polish it up or whether I make it not red. It's, it's just kind of hard to tell. I mean, it might, I'd imagine because it's probably pretty beat up and below the surface in which case someone painted it. But then again, maybe somebody painted it, you know, 30 years ago and in below it'll be absolutely pristine because it's been protected by the paint. Don't know. I mean, I wouldn't have said the frets were particularly badly worn, so it's, I, would, I don't think it's really been played that much. Someone's also painted that pickup gold. That should be cream. Um, it's, it's got like black blocks on it. Um, carved top. Mm. Rocking. Catch you later.